all alike. And uh, many, like 90% of students, they are really like ma mailing and calling us and like, oh, I really want to take part in the internship. And after one day, when we give them a task, they never come again. So, shoe designers not only giving interviews to magazines, you know, it's about work and a lot of uh, routine work. But yeah, uh, some 90% like of students doesn't come and I'm happy for that because uh, I don't need people who are not passionate about it, but some they they stay uh, over the over the time they stay and they really push and hard to do and learn, and then we take them to work with us and they got a paid basis. One girl she came from the uh, from the. Diakornok. <laughs> from Diakornok she went to the, the assistant and then to a production manager and so now she's uh, handling almost all the processes here and she is very dedicated and she's really passionate about shoemaking and she has uh, big plans and uh, uh, good dreams and she's really happy to work for us with us <laughs> so it's really nice to see. I design all the shoes myself. I don't need any assistance to help me to design because this is the, the thing I start with and that's what I was really passionate about in the beginning. Of course, there is a lot of work which I wouldn't like to do myself, uh, like administrating and you know running after the materials and stuff like that. It's so exciting, but of course, it's a part of a process, so I take it. Uh, but uh, my favorite part is the designing shoes, making the prototypes and correcting the lines and make a prototype again and uh, work out the technology and uh, find out which kind of little parts uh, shall be attached to make it look even better and uh, photo shooting and stuff like this. The message of the shoe is that it's from shoe to shoe different because every shoe is unique and every shoe is uh, thought through and uh, designed uh, piece by piece, put together. So it depends on what uh, currently is in my mood, is in my mind, and uh, it depends on the experience and uh, yeah, what I gain from some travels or whatever, some new meetings or some music or whatever. Other things, it depends on the inspiration I got from, and you know, it depends on many things. And uh, of course, on the customer too, sometimes so collection to collection is also different. I mean, the last shoe collection or shoe model we did uh, is from felt, so it resembled to a traditional Russian shoe. You know, from felt, this, uh, the, they used to be very ugly but very warm. And we designed them in a way that it's still traditional and still. Uh, resembling what still reminds you of the traditional Russian times back in 18th century, 19th century, but it has a nice sole, it has a sleek shape and it has a leather and all the linings inside which provide you with comfort and warmth. So it's really good and uh, when you update or modernize some traditional model, it's, it's like a challenge, you know, to make it work out in a modern environment. So that was the last one. But before we, you know, if we recycle, then of course the message is uh, be more conscious about the environment. For me, it's uh, the biggest challenge to make a shoe look like made of new materials, may look like a very designer piece. So I really pay attention on colors and uh, materials I put together and I recycle. So the recycled material doesn't uh, Heat you are you ride it to have some rubbish, you know. So it shouldn't look like that. That's that's the main point. So people don't know that it's recycled un unless I tell them, and they, it's a good sign for me. But when I walk with the friends, sometimes they they call me like, ah, look at that guy or that girl. They wearing your shoes. It's like where, and then notice it. But it's not a, for me. It's not important what kind of shoe people wear. I am really glad they buy it and they like my stuff and they wear it. It's, it's really cool, but <laughs> I don't watch it really. So sometimes when I meet someone and they tell what I do, they're like, oh, I'm sorry for my shoes. They are not so cool. I'm like, I don't care, you know, because you know the shoe tells. Uh, about person. It tells a lot about person, of course, but it's not necessarily you have to be a bad person if you don't have a proper shoes. I don't judge and I understand that 
for some people it's not so important and they don't want to spend money on it or whatever, you know? Neither I am. Like, <laughs> I didn't buy a shoe for like last, I don't know, six years, <laughs> obviously. I don't have this much shoes myself either. I have for every season just one pair, one, two pairs sometimes. So I don't, I'm not like so crazy about it. I don't have like 50 or 100 pairs of shoes. This shoe is such a um, architecture, it's such complex architecture, but in a small scale. So it's quite challenging with the desi design, the shoe, which is durable. Uh, everything a little bit in it. So it's a little bit of art, it's a little bit of craft. Uh, it's a lot of craft in it. Uh, a lot of architecture, a lot of um, ergonomics, uh, uh, hygienic knowledge and stuff. It's all what I learned in the Russia and University of uh, Light Industry. They taught me how to build the factories, so I did. <laughs> I just used my knowledge, you know, and uh, it happened to be in a shoe. Shoe production and the development is the, the most complex product I could find to do to put all the knowledge I have. Because if, if I wouldn't study in light industry university, which I hated at the time, maybe I wouldn't be capable of doing this right now. Yeah, I like to do shoes. I mean, 90% of the time right now goes to this project, but uh, I do, wouldn't define myself only as a shoe designer. You know, I'm an artist for life, I think, and uh, I do many projects and uh, we have uh, even the record label where we release um, the musicians on it and we promote them and organize parties and uh, different kind of stuff. I shoot uh, clips, like music videos for some bands and stuff. So, I mean, you know, just a human, you know, doing things. <laughs> Shoe, shoe process takes a lot of time, but uh, I'm building a team right now who would assist me. So the stupid stuff, not stupid, but like this routine stuff wouldn't take, abstract me from doing something I really like. And that's it.